I give the University of Maine a lot of credit. They came after us early on with a lot of different things. And, you know, some people may call them trick plays or things like that, but we have to defend those plays both uh, from special teams and from the defensive standpoint. Uh, we lost two possessions in the first half, okay, by them converting uh, two fourth downs and, and wound up scoring on both those uh, conversions. Came into the halftime, obviously, 17-13, uh, we were down, talked to our players about keeping our composure, sticking with the game plan, um, not really getting, uh, you know, just relax. We told our players, hey, just relax. We're, we're in good shape. We've got to execute. Uh, didn't execute as well as we should have in the first half. You know, just be alert. You know, play football, have good instinct, you know, know what they're trying to accomplish on the other, on the other side of the ball. And, and uh, I give credit to Maine. They did a nice job. Our players came out. We wound up scoring, and we wound up getting a play by Doug Hogue. It wound up going up on them. And, um, you know, DeLon Carter came through. We held the ball at the end when we needed to. Uh, more importantly, I thought Greg Paulus played an extremely uh, good football game. 21 to 28, I believe, two touchdowns. Ball security was good. We wound up plus two. Um, possession time was about the same. I'm still disappointed in the third down conversions. That's something that um, I, I have to do a better job. Um, but I'm happy. We're, we're two and two. And this team hasn't been two and two or 500 since 2006. And you know, I told the players, hey, go ahead and enjoy it, and you know, get ready to come back to work. Let's make the corrections uh, on Monday, and then let's get ready for our next opponent. And you know, here we are. Were you mad at halftime? No. Because football is a, I, when I say I'm not mad, football is a 60 minute game. And I don't get mad, and I never lose my cool. I try to stay, stay calm. People were in there at halftime, understand, you could ask the players. I'm very calm with the players. I feel good about the plan. All we have to do is execute. You didn't raise your voice? Uh... Nope, not at all. You could ask any of the players. Well, you know, they did, they did a nice job. They came out with, uh, you know, they came out with empty. They came out with unbalanced. They, uh, 13 was the quarterback for most of the game. We knew they were going to try, you know, well, I shouldn't say we knew. We, by reading and, and hearing comments, we, we, we thought that they would go to something. And obviously before the game, when we saw 13 warming up, we knew he was going to be the quarterback. So we were ready for that. And I think that they did a nice job. And we just had to make sure we got our checks in. We communicated and get our operation uh, corrected on defense. And, and we were end up being able to stop them. We, we're 500 now. I mean, we haven't won a lot of games here, so um, I, I'm going to enjoy this win. Uh, are there things that we can correct? Absolutely. The same way, you know, that we had it with Northwestern. But um, I know one thing. I'm, 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 I'm ha I have a smile on my face, and I'm, I'm going to be excited to make corrections, you know, come Sunday or, excuse me, Monday with our players and get together with our coaches and find out how we can, you know, do a better job of, of getting our players to understand what we want of them. So um, if you think I'm going to – for anyone, I, I'm – Hey, we won a game now. This, it's hard to win football games. I don't know if, well, yeah, you guys should know. You see what's gone on here in the past four years. How good was Greg in the second half? I think Greg had it. Greg, Greg is, I mean, day in and day out. I, I mean, 21 for 28 and ball security and just the composure. And, you know, I, feel, I, I, I said it during the week. I feel better and better every day I'm with Greg. Uh, his footwork's improving. His arm's improving. His, his, uh, his ability to... To see the field, concepts, make plays, it's, it's, uh, I'm, I, I am excited about the direction that, that Greg is heading, and I'm, and I'm excited about the direction of where we can go, and we have to do a, a tremendous job coaching and executing. I, I believe in what you do in practice, you're going to do in a game. If he doesn't see something in practice and we don't want him to throw the football to a certain individual because the concept of the route doesn't go that way, well, then we practice it and try to teach it. And if he doesn't get it, then we take it out of the plan. I see Greg becoming more and more comfortable. He, I would think if someone asked me to point out, I'll tell you what, if someone asked me to point out one play, it would be plays in practice where he throws an alert post for a big play, which he hadn't thrown all, all, all the time that I've been with Greg. He threw an alert post in practice. I just see him making great decisions in practice. And in my mind, when I go into a game, I know he's going to make the proper decisions because I'm a big believer if you do it in practice, you'll do it in a game. But I really see a tremendous a growth in, in, in this quarterback from the first time that he stepped on in, 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 the, in the, you know, in, I guess in the summer, you know, to now. And, and I've seen it out of a lot of, other, a lot of other players. Marcus Sales stepped up and made a play today. That was a big play for us. And, um, you know, I, 
And that was good to see that. We're going to need players to step up for us. We're going to need them both on offense and defense for us to continue and, and to get better each week. So was it just better execution offensively second half? What, what was the difference between first half not being able to move the ball as effectively as this second half? Well, I, more possessions, you know, probably the first thing that comes to, my, to mind and, and being able to get a big play. You know, we start the game off, we get a drop for, you know, that would have been a first down. The second possession, we score. Um, there's another possession in there where we, we, we kick a field goal and then wind up kicking a field goal again. So, I, you know, probably two possessions we were stopped. And one was a drop, the first possession, and the second possession was a second and seven. And we had a four to five yard gain with another drop. So it stalled the drives for us and we couldn't convert on third down. So um, I would say the answer to that question is, is we had more possessions and, we had, and then we made some big plays. Um, I, I, you know, I, I don't, I don't know with other coaches. You know, we tried to, we went back and we looked at the games from 2005 and 2007 and all the games that they played and see if what they tried to do. I think early on it was a thing that, I, I don't know. You know, coach would have to answer that question. If I know this, that if we stop those plays, we have good field position and we're able to to, to get ahead early in this game, and we weren't. So, um, uh, hats off to Maine. They did a nice job. They converted and we and we did it. I, you know what? Be honest with you. I tried to come out here so fast so you guys wouldn't be here late. I, I didn't even stop in the training room. That's the truth. But he, he did come back and try to play, and did you make a decision not to play? Him or? They just, I don't. They just tell me in or out. I, I don't ask any questions. Is he in? Is he out? How long is he out for? Is he in or out? He's out. Move on. Next player, go. What kind of I'll take one more. I mean, it's hard. You, you know, whether we say you always want to get into a rhythm. You know, you try to get into a rhythm. That's the main goal. And, you know, when you have penalties, it, it's, it's, it's discouraging. Thank you.